All right, I'm coming at you with a video on how to perfectly center uh, any sort of text that you have to do for a sign. And my last video showed some projects I've been working on. And one thing I have to do is do some calligraphy on a sign that really it's a picture frame with some slatted boards, but it's going to say congratulations, doctor and Mrs. So-and-so, and then the date. But the really important thing is this is going to be something this family is hanging on their wall and is always going to remember. And if it's slightly off center when it comes to the text, you're going to notice eventually. And if it's real bad, you'll notice right away and it'll be ruined. And the client that you're doing it for is not going to enjoy it. So let's just do a really simple word um, for, I guess, congratulations is the best one to do because that's very, very common. And um, what you want to do when you're trying to figure out how to center letters on a board is you write out the words first. You know, you kind of figure out the orientation the way you want it and whatnot. But writing the word out is the most important part because we're going to count the letters, which sounds really childish, but that's what you need to do. So all right, so there's the word congratulations. And um, what you want to do is you want to figure out how many letters there are and you want to find the middle letters of the word. Sometimes there's one, sometimes there's two middle letters, but uh, you'll find that and that's actually going to be your starting point. So let's count the letters on this one. Now one thing to keep in mind is some letters like an I and then the first letter if you want to make it bigger are going to be different spacings than the others. So really it shouldn't be too much of a difference when you find the center it's not going to be too far off but keep in mind that from the center if you have any letters that are really thin on this side then that's going to shorten this side or if they're thin on this side that's going to shorten that side just slightly so what you want to do to compensate when you find the midpoint is to move it slightly over or if you have a small letter here but you're going to make the first letter really big then that kind of cancels each other out. So you don't have to worry about that. If the first capital letter is going to be bigger than all the other letters, having a small letter over here is fine. Let's pretend you don't have a thin letter. Then what's going to happen when you put this big one there is it's going to be shifted slightly that way when you look at it. So in order to compensate for large letters on this side, you move it over this way a little bit. The most important thing is to sort of keep it even. And the first thing to do is to find the center, like I said. So when you're looking at the letters for this, so congratulations has 15 letters in it. Now, an odd number means that there's actually a center letter. If there was an even number, it means there's going to be two letters in the middle that is going to be the center. And for that, the line is going to be your middle point, not a letter your middle point but I'll sort of give you an example of that. So let's say you have the word, um, let's say you have the word thanks. Well, the middle of thanks is the letters A and N, which means what you want to do is you find the middle of your picture or whatever you're doing, and there's going to be a middle line, and to the left is the A, to the right is the N. But we're going to focus on congratulations, which has an odd number of letters, and you want to find the middle of it. So in order to find the middle, you start counting from the ends. So here's the ends, and then you keep going in, and you can do a little bit of quick head math. And then what you find is the U is going to be your center. That's because you have seven on this side, and you have seven on this side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So your U for congratulations is your center. So when you're doing the painting or the writing or anything like that and you take your tape measure and you measure the length of what you're writing on then you're going to find the exact middle. When you find the middle point using a tape measure or whatever uh, the first thing you're going to do let's say you know you want it let's say this is the top of the frame that you're doing and you found the middle and you want to start it right here. Well, then what you're going to do is you're going to start with the U. And so you do your fancy little U. And after that, you have the middle letter. And so from then on, you can actually start writing the letters out here 
writing the letters out there. Now, if you wanted to make it so that it's in the, in the center, um, I'm gonna make the C a little bigger and leave the I normal size, which is gonna condense the left side but keep this side long, so it's gonna make it even out in the long run. I hope that doesn't confuse you too much, but even if you left all the letters the same and you left this I a little bit thin, it's gonna look great compared to just eyeballing it and starting way over to the left or way over to the right. So here we go with the U, and then you can do either all the letters on this side and then reverse on this side, or you can just keep alternating until you reach the end. Uh, me personally, I just like alternating until I finally reach each end point. Um, so what I would do next is I would make the L and then the T and then the A and then the A. And you can have your paper as a map. Maybe you have a sheet of paper or something so you know exactly what you're doing. So, and you don't, we don't want to get off track that way either. And so then after the A is the T, then you have the R and then the I then the G, then the O, N, N, O, S, C. And so what that did was it put it in the middle. Now I know this has a slight arc to it, but I was just eyeballing it myself. And what I would have done is I probably would have kept a straight edge down at the bottom or something else to make sure that I kept it nice and straight. Um, if I wanted to make an arc, then I probably would have used a, um, a compass and then with the compass, you know, did the arc to follow. And if I wanted to make it so that I didn't actually mark on the actual piece of art that I'm doing or the frame that I'm doing or whatever, then I would just get a sheet of paper, cut it out, and tape it down with scotch tape or something really, really easy to pull up again. And you just follow the line. And as long as you know where your center is and you just go out from there, you're not gonna have any trouble. Let's say you had the U and you wanted to do this side then that side or vice versa. Then what you would do is just, so that side's done and then you do the other side. But you need to do it from the middle that way. You don't wanna start the C over here and work your way into the U which is the center. So then you have congratulations. And that is you know, really no matter what way you do it, it's gonna look really good when you find your center line and you start with the center letter and you go out from there. Well, I hope this video was a good help and I hope it did confuse you. Um, subscribe to the channel, like the video if you enjoyed it, and I'll keep posting more stuff like this and maybe you can get some help from it. So that's really my goal is to give you a way to approach things that maybe you wouldn't have thought about before because you've done it a few times, you get really frustrated, so you tell yourself, ah, I can't do it, you know, I can't ever get it center. How does people do that? Do they just print it off or have a template or a stencil? No, you can do it by hand. You just have to think about sort of a little bit of the math, the mental math to do it. So um, anyways, have a great rest of the day.